not just when we're getting used to those 90. Yeah, we still got them most days, a okay. couple days, maybe uh, tipping the scale at 100. But that means if you live in an outlying area, maybe upper 90s still. So yeah. bottom line is we're not going to a mega heat wave, which we oftentimes could do mm -hmm. this time of year. Usually that'll happen in June, but we're not that far away from June. Yeah, getting closer. Getting yeah. closer. Here's some bullet points for this work week ahead. Uh, breezy today, yes, we saw that. And tomorrow those winds could still gust to about 30 miles per hour. Triple digits again, as uh, John and Angelique were just mentioning, could return as soon as Friday. Memorial Day, looking hot and dry. Temperatures close to 100, but again, we're not talking about that. 104, 105, 110 sometimes. That usually comes though in June. All right, let's look at our sunset forecast tonight. We're looking for some pretty good color out there, so make sure to get your iPhones, droids, any recording device that you use nowadays to get those pictures in. 95 today's top temp in Tucson. That's too above the average for this time of year. And our winds, uh, strong as 32 miles per hour here in Augusta today in the city of Tucson. We're down to 24 at the airport, 25 DM. So all in all, as you promised, by about 6, 7 o'clock, we thought those winds would die down, and that is the case. Now, that said, tomorrow they're going to come back up to about uh, southwesterly 15 to 20 miles per hour. Again, could see those occasional gusts close to 30 miles per hour. That's why higher high fire danger is out there, not exceptionally high, but as you make your way into portions of eastern Arizona, it will be higher. We'll talk about that coming up. 90 sunny skies at the airport, 9% the humidity, so we're looking pretty good. Uh, West Siders at 86, East Siders at 86, that includes Sabino Canyon, 84 Vale, it's 83 Saurita, one of the more temperate places. How about Sonoida, 77, 80 down in Bisbee, so looking pretty good. Uh, satellite picture does show some clouds near Flagstaff, even some light showers trying to get going near Lake Havasu City, all courtesy of an area of, well, low pressure near the Great Basin, Las Vegas. And ahead of that, some severe weather today across sections of New Mexico. Looks like the severe thunderstorm watch is moving off to the east, but here's our red flag warning for sections of Graham and Greenlee County tomorrow from lunchtime till about 7 o'clock tomorrow night. 60s for lows tonight, daytime highs tomorrow with those breezy conditions into the low 90s. Southwest winds 10 to 20 with those gusts to 30 and into Cochise and Santa Cruz County. 50s to bottom off at and daytime highs back into the 80s, gusts to 30 miles per hour. So we'll look for breezy conditions tomorrow, 92, 94 Wednesday, 97 Thursday. So we climb up those rungs a little bit gradually each day, putting us close to triple digits Friday and Saturday. Sunday maybe a little cooler as the storm system tries to approach. Monday maybe back to 100, which is Memorial Day. And again, 24 hours ago, we were going pretty gusto with much hotter temperatures, but looks like the system that's going to bring us some high clouds this weekend will prevent those temperatures from getting too hot. Maybe just upper 90s to near 100. Not bad. Not too bad. Need